I'm 30 weeks pregnant. It's by Rebel. The Target brand. They are ridiculously soft. They're very Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I just slapped my leg so hard. Um, it has been a long time since I have vlogged. Sorry for the sounds behind me. It's been a long time since I vlogged. I have a bunch of videos, but I've, have, I've had a problem getting them edited and uploaded because our computer is broken. It is chaos today. We've had the weirdest, the weirdest week. Um, but I am currently, let's see, you can see I'm 30 weeks pregnant. And we are redoing my toddler's closet. My husband is adding shelves right now so that we can do her toys. My friend came up with this idea or found this idea of like these clear bins and she told me about it. So we added shelves into her closet because she has this huge walk-in closet and then I'll put all the bins in there. I'll just show you guys. Whoa, Oaks. Mama. You're finding all the studs. <laughs> Sorry. He's doing all of the, what are these? Not brackets. Sure. Supports or whatever. Because we're going to match these, but we're going to bring out the shelf further because we need it for the bins. So I'll paint and make them match like this. And then like her rest of her closet. But all of this will be shelves for the boxes. And that way she can she can grab them like from the lower ones which and I'll put the heavier ones I haven't decided if I want the heavier ones like up top where she cannot reach them or closer to the ground where she could pull them but like less room to fall do you know what I mean I think I'll do them I don't know we'll have to play around and see but then she can go grab them bring them out here if she wants to play with them or keep them in her room which she really is enjoying like independent alone time free time let me do it by myself is what she says all the time so we have that and so I want to show you guys toy storage talk about it show you how it's going up and then I want to show you everything that we've gotten for the baby so far I what well, we're having another girl everything we've gotten for baby girl I haven't done a gender reveal in here I announced on Instagram forever ago I just couldn't think of something for a video so if you don't know now you know surprise we're having a girl um but my camera is dying of course but we want to go over everything we've gotten for her so far um and like because it's our second baby, so we already had a lot of stuff. But I have been very selective about like what I'm buying or what I do think that I need this time. So if you want more of like a nest with me video, I will definitely be doing one of those in a couple weeks because I'm already 30 weeks. It is now 5.20 and I am making sandwiches slash toast. And we are going to go take Duke on a walk. Take Oakland on a little walk and just get out. Riley finished the shelves. He caulked them so they're setting. Um, and then we're going to get like the sealant and then paint them to fit because it's MDF board. So we need to like seal it first. Also, doing nails is literally like my happy place. So these are tips and then dip powder on them. Like I just have like an at home dip kit. They are. So wonderful and strong and I am obsessed with them. But anyways, gotta make sandwiches. And then I'm sure we'll come back and just hang out and watch shows and do stuff. So then I will show you guys the shelves. And then I want to go through all the stuff that we've gotten for baby sister so far and show you guys because I am obsessed with it. And we got a new love every box for Oakland they sent it over like an additional gift too and so I chose the play mat for newborns because the one we had was like super cheap from Target and just like had no rhyme or reason like had no function it was like literally a mat with a little arch over her you know like had nothing for Oakland to like gain anything from so 
this one from Love Every is so nice. I think I might unbox it and set it up to like show you guys too. Cause it's, I mean, you've probably seen it all over Instagram, but that is like one of the things I knew I had to have for this baby. It was a good tummy time mat. I'm really excited about this mat. I loved this kit too for Oakland, the age that she's at. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll show you guys. Literally so cute, but we're gonna eat our sandwiches really quick and then go on a little walk and then I'll show you guys all of this again, <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, it's a little bit later and I wanted to show you guys everything we've gotten for baby sister so far. Um, the shelves are setting, they are done. They've been caulked, but we still have to sand and paint them. So they're functional, they're just like not completely done. But I will show you those, we just haven't put all of the like, bins on there yet. But I wanted to show you guys this. So sorry, I'm so out of breath. I just, I'm always out of breath and I just, I can't, I can't this time. So, um, first I wanted to talk about what we got from Love Every. Like I said, they did send me and gift me these things. Um, so thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of the video. And I think what I'm most excited about is the play gym that we got. So you can use it up to, I mean, as long as you want, but hours and hours of research go into the toys, the play kits, the gyms, everything that Love Every does. And that's why it's so nice because then as a parent, you don't have to worry about what they're playing with what their brain is getting from it or like how they're interacting with it. It's just like so laid out and however they imagine or however they want to play with it is exactly correct. Like that's perfect. It's exactly what they should do. And there's just so much science to back like the Montessori Waldorf sort of independent play, like what, um, what love every does. So, that's why I love them. I've talked about them a million times. I know you guys know that. I also got the helper play kit um, for Oakland. So it was eight months, 25, 26, 27, I believe. Um, and it's been so fun. I really love that one. It comes with like the little sink and I'll put clips of her playing with it all, but it comes with like the little sink that you can do and just the toys like every time we open the box i'm just like blown away with the quality and how fun the toys look and then she actually starts playing with them and like they hold her attention for a long time we actually have one of our bins like the big one of these i have four love every toys and i need to make a second one because i've kind of grouped together toys that would fit in those bins and then like kind of like like ages of when we got them and she still plays with them like literally when we we're the reason is i need to be vlogging right now is because she had the love every toys from when she was one until she turned two so like any of the boxes from in between there and was playing with all of the toys that she used to play with but playing with them in an elevated way now so she was like doing like the carrot drop from the littler kid boxes and was like this is mom carrot dad carrot grandma carrot grandpa carrot and baby carrot and then she'd say like one is gone two is gone three is gone four is gone five is gone and like we push them away like playing with them in such a different way than she used to and it's so fun to watch but this is the play gym so this is what it looks like you can use it as older or like just a little play gym. So this is the mat itself. And it has all the different, like, this one's crinkly. This one is different colors and has the little pull tab. And then the little silicone rings. This side has, you can put the contrast cards or picture cards or mirror cards. And this one is different color tabs. This one is different textures. I mean... Literally, so well thought out. And like I said, the one that we had for Oakland, I think literally was just plain and had an elephant on it. And was just like, purple and orange, or pink, blue and orange, and just was that. Like, nothing, nothing for her brain. 
So then these are the high contrast cards, the mirror cards, and then pictures of like real kids and like animals, animals and real life objects and then kids to start recognizing like happy faces, expressions, black and white, high contrast obviously is great for newborn. Then it has these, the wood like arch legs. This is the batting ring. It's wood and can spin and jingles. This one is a teething ring, so it's organic cotton and then a silicone ring. And then this one is just like the ball, but they can grasp it with their fingers too if they get it. Oh my gosh. This is the little cover. So like when they're older, you can make it like the little tent for them to sit under. Just so cool. And then Oakland's box was so cool and so fun. Like I just appreciate all of the work that they put into it and the quality that goes into it. Like it's definitely worth the price. It's definitely worth everything. Like the quality, the functionality, the longevity of it. Like I can't even. I literally just love love every twig. So, I'm sure you'll be seeing more toys in future hauls because, like I said, we love them and they have like newborn boxes, so I might get her a box when she's here of toys, but that's that. Now on to the haul of everything we've gotten so far. This is everything. Looks like a lot, but being a second time mom, I had so many bins when I was pregnant with Oakland. Cause I mean, obviously like you buy everything, right? So, oh, we already have so much stuff. I have three bins of clothes out in the garage from Oakland and I already gave two bins away to my cousin. So let's just dive in, shall we? First things first, all the pacifiers. We call them fires short pacifiers obviously we got these and started using them later and later with Oakland like when she got a little older and they're her favorite ones I think they like fit her mouth the best she sleeps the best with them like she just likes them so these are the ma'am mom ma'am ones um these were on sale for $5.99 at TJ Maxx normally I think they're like $9.99 so I would have gotten like pink or purple but honestly I don't care this one has like a little green berry, a little chick, and then a dolphin, and they're just like the neutral colors, which, sorry, it's getting dark outside, which I don't care, don't mind. And then for this baby, a lot of stuff was pink with Oakland, and obviously a lot of things in here are, are pink. I haven't found any purple stuff, but I'm trying to gear more towards like white, greenery, and like lavender and purples, like all shades of purple. Um... I just think it's fun and just to make things like new or different for her versus like everything is pink and is a hand-me-down from your sister. You know what I mean? Um, so I, when I saw these, I loved these. We actually loved these for the longest time with Oakland. They changed them a little bit. Uh, they used to be like clear silicone like these. These are the exact same ones. But I found just in the dark purple, so it's two of the light and then pinks, purples. Oakland has these, these are in zero to six month, zero to six month, newborn. This web nub was on clearance and Oakland chose a giraffe for baby sister. Oakland has a penguin one and she saw this one and chose a giraffe, so got that. And then some of these I've gotten off my registry and other things we've bought in or been gifted. So I got the like eight pack of zero to three month just plain white onesies. Come to find out I already have this from Oakland. So I should have gotten them in newborn or a bigger size, but I didn't use them like I should have with Oakland. So I will use them a whole lot more this time. So I think it's good. Nasal aspirator, probably the most important thing. I can't do the nose Frida. I don't like them. I don't like the like power suck ones. I like this, you just plug one of their nostrils try to suck it out I feel like it's less chaotic like less scary for babies just always worked well for us then I got the free the baby training toothbrush just for as soon as they get little teeth 
it just massages all sides and their gums keep those little mouths clean especially while breastfeeding um then a little three pack of the burt's bees mittens i don't know where the other one is but got these off of my registry i need mittens i refuse to let babies newborns like not have mittens on then i was gifted this i'm gonna link everything below too in case you want to try to find any of it I was gifted this from one of my favorite shops called uh, Shop Mini Mavericks. And she sent this. Oakland and I got matching sweatshirts. And then she sent this over for baby sis too. And it's just an organic cotton like onesie. Oh, little sleeper. It's in zero to three month. But this is literally smaller than any other jammy set that I have for her. So if the one that I'm going to order is too big or doesn't fit her in the hospital like for her pictures or for coming home i'm gonna bring this one because it's small and it's comfy like it's just soft a big thing of desitin for diaper rash this is my favorite lotion the avino baby daily lotion with the oatmeal in it i just feel like that's so soothing for their skin especially if they have any eczema or just like dryness love that i got these for my friend just a pack of socks for little babies um we'll talk about that in a second these are from cloud island the target brand they are ridiculously soft they're very thin so again put a white onesie underneath her jammies for when she sleeps or depending on whatever swaddle she has at night but they are ridiculously soft so I will be finding more of those from Cloud Island. These ones I got in newborn size. So if these fit her or if I like them, like once they're on her body, I will be buying so many more because they're so soft and I just feel like that's so comfy for them. This was the first thing I bought. I didn't even know we were having a girl. I could have sworn we were having a boy, but I bought this just in case because I was obsessed with it. And now I'm sad that I got it in such a big size, but it's these two sleepers. That's all I put my kids in. I don't like the cutesy outfits, with the ruffles and the tutus. I feel like that's uncomfortable. So they literally just hang out in jammies all day, but that's so precious to me. So this is like a sage green with a little ruffle down it and just like precious and then this one is just greenery no ruffle just a pretty plain zipper but has the little ruffle on the shoulder which is cute and then just this little robe so unnecessary i feel like i won't even use it but it came with little washcloths and was a little giraffe robe so just precious love that um this was the first gift we got as soon as we found out it was a girl my brother's girlfriend sent over these bows from amazon so they're, they're really thin so like this and there's like the thicker band really soft bows because when they're so little i feel bad putting the like headbands on them but that's okay then i registered on amazon so i just got like their welcome gift which is a onesie a ma'am bottle which i didn't know they even made and then a pacifier from them too hello bello hand sanitizer water wipes huggies little samples of lotion this is my favorite chapstick ever if it'll ever focus the aquaphor i have used it so much already i keep like I know I'm going to want it in the hospital, but I love it so much right now. Hey, Hi, babe. Ooh. Just my little welcome basket from Amazon. I love these. Yes, bottles. Yeah, those are baby sister's bottles. Mm -hmm. I plan to pump a lot more this time so that Riley can feed because she never really wanted to take a bottle and we never really tried like that hard. So, Riley didn't ever get to feed her, but for our first baby, that was fine, but now I'm going to need help putting to bed, just all that. These are nursing pads, so I put them in my shirt to keep dry. This is a box from Oakland. I don't think I ever even used any of these. Um, so, I have a whole box of nursing pads. 
her two little Komotomo bottles. I just got the small five ounce ones because if she, once she starts needs to drink more, if she likes them, then we'll get the bigger ones. But Thank you. Them. You're welcome. Love you. Look at your fire. Oh, there's no fire in this one. There's the fires in the other one. I have one of the diaper pail refills for our diaper genie, just that we have. This came in my bump box, it says love at first sight. I need to put one of her ultrasound pictures in here, but she doesn't have a room. I don't really know like where to hang it. And then I just have two sheets from Oakland. Like they're just crib sheets. One is white with hedgehogs, one is white with... Oh, and I... It's just a baby bottle. One is white with stars. Like great stars. She never slept in her crib. I mean, we set it up and she laid in it and napped in it a couple times. Like, she never used her crib like how you would. So, got all of that. I have, still I have the Dockatot, the Mamaru, the, I, I love you. Um, Dockatot, Mamaru, Nuna, car seat. Oh, my tummy hurts. Your tummy hurts? What do you need? Pop. You need an Otter Pop? My, my lip feathers. You did. You tripped and fell in Target and you bonked your lip, huh? And got an owie. Let me get, let me get, let me get orange Otter Pop. You need an orange Otter Pop? My, my lip feathers. Okay, I will come out and get you one, okay? That's literally all I have for her right now. Like I said, I have so many clothes from... Oh, you're showing them your owie. Mm. Yeah. It looks so much better, though. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. So, okay. I'm so sorry. Mm. I am going to get a personalized swaddle and a, um, a bow and then white jammies for, like, her picture. Mommy. Um, yes, honey. What? Which is how we plan to announce the name, and that is not me being, like, we can't say the name until she's born. We just literally don't know her name. So hopefully we figure it out before she's born so I can have that swaddle personalized. But we will see. So this is Desitin for diaper rash. That's kind of all I have. I will show you guys the shelves really quick. Um, but I this haul was much longer than I expected it to be. I know you did. Let's go get an orange water pop. Okay. Yeah, make your lip better. So like I said, these are the big boxes. These Sterilite ones are the smaller ones. I know, we're going. So, these are her shelves. They will be painted to match. And we'll sand like the edges. And then under here, I think I'm gonna do two or three of like those baskets. Or I have bins like this. Riley just hates these bins. He just thinks they look horrible. Um, but I have a bunch of them from our previous apartment, like from years ago. So I'm gonna do three bins down here for things like her bigger stuffed animals. Um, this has like, that pink bin back there, has bigger toys that don't fit in boxes or don't, are like just a standalone toy. Like it's just one of them. So like putting them in a box would be silly. Um, and then things like this. Hello. Things like this little, little people farm and stuff. And like car racetracks. I think we're going to do on the top shelf. So I'm sure it'll be in a different vlog. But once I, sh once we get all of that in, I'll show you guys how we organized it and everything like that. But that's kind of the plan for in here. This just never got used as a closet. Like we never had anything to hang here. She has, okay, okay. We just have all of her shirts here and then the rest of her clothes fit perfectly in this cute little dresser that I got on Amazon. Um, and like, then I got these separators. And so like all of her clothes and pants just fit in here, which in the summer when leggings and long pants go out and she, I get the rest of her shorts from last summer because now that she's potty trained, She's a lot smaller because her diaper isn't in the way, so she'll fit all of her shorts from last year. Those will probably have to go down, but right now I just have blankets down here. So, like, I have plenty of storage, but... Oh, I'm so out of breath. 
I just gotta get them done. Like the third trimester is kicking my butt. I've been in it for two weeks and I'm donezo. Second trimester was better. I had sciatica. I have a whole video about that that I need to make my second trimester video, but that one was fine. Third trimester was killing me. Okay, I'm coming. Let's go get it. Let's do it. So, that's killing me, but more videos on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to let me know if you want to see a nest with me or if you want to see the rest of like this be organized. Because um, i got to do it anyway, so might as well film it if you want to see it. Thanks for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.